So we have been talking about the type of scammers in Kenya. In another video, in our previous video, we did about the scammers in Kenya. And today I felt that because already you have identified the scammers, uh, maybe you are running an investor business and you have identified uh, the type of scammers we have in Kenya. Yeah. What are the precautions you should take yeah. so that you don't be scammed? You're not exactly. falling, yeah. you're not the victim <laughs> of being scammed. So my name is Emma. And my name is Patrick. And welcome to Feast of This Talk. So one of the precautions that you should uh, do, if you if you are there and you have an investor business, yeah. you know there are some things you should do because people are out there to yeah. get money, mm -hmm. to scam you. Yeah. People are not good actually. And they're taking time to lack on yes. to scam you. So. Yeah. So one of the things you should do so that you avoid being scammed is always ask for identification documents. Yeah. Whether you make whichever the transaction. If you are, if someone wants to deposit, if someone wants to withdraw, always ask for their ID. Because people are using people, other people's ID and that is how you find yourself in trouble. Yeah. yeah. And you can't even look back and try to track that person, yes. let's say he called you, mm -hmm. you're not going to get them because they are, that details, the details are they, not given they yet, so they just give you some random details, mm -hmm. you can't find them. Yeah, and that is why actually Safari Coco always insists that you should, the person, whoever is doing a transaction should have their original ID, so that whenever, even when you're noting the details, next time, even when you're called to identify the person who's come to you, yeah. you'll be able to remember. Exactly. Yes, and then you should always take ma the money before depositing. Yeah. This is something that very people mm -hmm. don't know yeah. because there's a person who will come and tell you, I want you to deposit 40,000. Mm -hmm. So you have gone ahead and deposited 40,000. And this person doesn't have the 40,000. Yeah. So immediately they receive the confirmation message that you have deposited 40,000. They run. Disappear. They disappear and there is nothing you can do. You can't now start leaving your shop and start running. Yeah. Why are you even good? So always make sure that money take the fast. money, give the money. Yeah. Money give me fast. the money after you have I have taken the money from you. Yeah. Put it in a safe place. Yeah, exactly. And then now then start the process of depositing. Yeah, depositing. You know don't, some people don't rush. <laughs> don't rush. Yeah. There's no hurry. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you should serve one customer at a time. Mm -hmm. Because I actually realized in most investor businesses, this is how they do it actually yeah. to scam people. They come like a group of five people. So, and they are calling, Madam, I want you to start to deposit 50,000. Madam, I want to withdraw. Madam, Madam, I want this and this. Maybe someone, another is saying, I want to buy maybe this one. Because yes. For example, a lot of investors have a lot of some, maybe some. Yeah, maybe SIM cards yeah. and the phones. Mm -hmm. So you find that these people, they, their intention is to confuse you. Mm -hmm. So you don't know who, who did they sell first. Yeah. Who, this one. So in we, that confusion, yeah. actually, that, that is how they steal. Yeah. And the scammer will, in the middle of the conversation, the scammer will be like, I serve me first. Mm -hmm. And then when they serve you, they are still talking. Yeah, they back. tell you, Madam, you are taking a lot of time. So you know, the human brain yeah. cannot process a lot of information at once. Yeah. So they, they are trying to confuse you so that now they can be, you know, even that is the tactic they use. Mm -hmm. So that even that time you are serving a lot of people. And you find that those, the group of five, people they actually have the main the main yeah. they are one group and the main target is to steal from you exactly. and then sometimes they come with a there's this uh, I don't know which medicine they use mm -hmm. that makes you now lose cause consciousness yeah. of what is happening. Mm -hmm. So if you ever find that there are a group of five people and they don't want to be served mm -hmm. one at a time just tell them please leave. Yeah. Otherwise or, or maybe you make sure that you have another person who is assisting yeah. you. Otherwise you will be scammed. Mm -hmm. And then, and then uh, number four Keep your phone and on the cash and the cash box away from the public. Yeah. Because you could be serving like five customers and then you find someone has just reached out <laughs> and taken your cash because you're just placing your cash yeah. at the bo at the counter. Or even your phone. Even your phone. That is actually in Nairobi people have stolen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what is wrong with people in, in Nairobi with phones. Yes. You find someone even has a big phone and then they are trying to steal. Still even phone. yours. So you always keep make sure that your cash box yeah. is far away because people are out here to scam you. Yeah. My friend, watch out. Mm -hmm. And then install a CCTV. A CCTV is very essential yeah. because it will help you to identify the type of customers. When you're going through back through your, maybe you want to review footage of who visited your shop. Mm -hmm. If something peculiar or something uh, unusual happened, you'll be able to see this is the person who did Yeah, from the footage. Yes, and it's, it's very advisable yeah, to really advisable. And some people actually don't know how to install CCTV. Yeah. And at Finstock we have a course at, for installing CCTV. We, so we have, we have also done a video. Yeah, we have also done a video on the same. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you feel like security is actually paramount when yeah. it comes to the investor business. So these are some of the tips you should know, uh, five precautions you should take. 
when starting an investor business, I hope you have learned a thing or two. If there are some other precautions that maybe you feel are essential and we have not discussed them, leave, leave, the, leave the comments, uh, leave the uh, tips in the comment section and we'll be sure to read it out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And if maybe a person wants to further their skills mm -hmm. about fraud, examining, and other cyber security issues, mm -hmm. you can enroll for a course at Facebook University College where they have experts that are being good in this field and they are going to be teaching you every single details and giving you information about the course and you get certified at the end of the course and these courses are online and they are very affordable so visit them www.facetalkiversity.com or email them at info at facetalkiversity.com or call their customer care number at 0703-313-722 yeah thank you guys for tuning in make sure at the end of this video you like you comment subscribe show your love support support us because it's only after you support us that we can be able to now grow together yeah. and make sure that you like subscribe comment share what else can they do they comment can again. comment again you know yeah. and uh and share we'll, to more people share to more people we'll be sure to appreciate yeah. until until next time goodbye, goodbye.